So you're looking to get started editing in Adobe Premiere, but you don't know where to start? Well, I've got you covered. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started editing in Adobe Premiere in eight minutes or less, even if you've never edited before. So let's jump in. All right, so once you have Adobe Premiere installed and you open it up for the first time, you'll see a screen very similar to this. And this is where we're going to start. And we're going to create a new project. I'm going to show you some basic editing, some advanced editing, all within eight minutes. So let's get started. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up here to new project. And it's going to take you to a page like this. And you just want to name your project. So let's say my first edit. Okay. And then you'll select where you want this to edit. We're just going to put that in quick projects here. And that's all we're going to do on this screen. There's some other advanced things that you could do, but I'm going to show you how to do that once we get into the project. So you go down here and you click create. This is where your editing interface is going to take place. So first, I'm going to show you a couple of things about this. Each of these windows here are used for different tools and you can customize them any way you want. You could grab the little blue line and stretch them out. You can make things bigger, smaller. You could toggle through different panels that are in there. And at any time, you can go up to Window, and it has all the other panels that you might need in here. So if I reference a panel or I talk about something and you don't see it in here, because my layout may be different than yours, you'll find it in here, and you can place it wherever you want. If you have a panel over here, like my project panel, I'm just going to grab that and you see two things you can put it here is going to make it part of that panel that existing window pane there or you can put it to the to the right of it you can put it above it you can put it in the middle wherever you want right so we're just going to drop that in the middle the other part of that is over here they have sort of different workspaces created for you with the panels that you might need in there all right, so there's like a starter panel, which has kind of just what you need to know. Essentials, vertical, if you're doing a TikTok videos or, or videos like that, you have your editing panel. So we're going to start out in the assembly panel. This is what I usually use. And, and again, this might look different than yours. And the more that you do it, you'll learn where you like things to be. OK, first things first is we need some media to start editing with. And you can do that one of two ways. In your project panel, which is where all of your assets will live, you could go to import media and you can just go into whatever folder you have things saved in and get it that way. And we're just gonna open this up, all right? Now it's gonna do all the work. It's gonna import those files in there. And then from here, you can start editing them. The other way that you could do this is over in the media browser, which works like your Explorer, your search, or any other file explorer. And it has your drives, it has the files, and you can click and drag them over or double click on them as you need to. All right. Once you have your media over here, you're going to create a sequence. The sequence is what you will actually be editing in. So again, you could do this by just starting a new sequence. You can click on a new item down here and go to sequence and it'll give you some options to create the sequence. Or what I find is the easiest is I click my primary video that I'm going to be editing, click and drag that over that new sequence, and it's going to bring it over into the sequence panel. Okay. And you see now you can see this program monitor, which is what we are editing. So if you play this, you can see this response accordingly. You can see your audio coming up over here and you can see you have your video track on top and the audio track below that and this is where you're going to do all your cutting and you can layer this as many videos or assets that you want above and below that so if you hit your plus or minus button on your keyboard it'll zoom in and zoom out of the project Again, your playhead stays the same. This doesn't change anything about the video. It's just so you can see a little bit more information in here and you can see exactly where your audio starts, your audio stops. And so what you could do is you just hover the playhead over where you want it to go and you click on your razor tool. And this is what you're gonna use to slice the video. And you can slice that and then you can slice over here and you can make all the edits that you want and then if you grab your arrow key again, make sure you highlight that, hit delete. And then you can drag your videos over here. Let's say we don't want that, we hit delete. 
and we drag those there, okay? So that's the basics of editing, is you wanna slice out, cut the things you don't want, move the things around that you do want, and now you can see that you can play it back and see that it's all seamless. Now, once you have all the video cut the way that you want it, you can go up to your effects panel, and this is where you have a lot of the things that you can apply to that. One of the things that you might use in here, and you might see others that you wanna try, but is the transition. So we have dissolves, we have iris. This is what you use to put between clips. So if you wanna like have a dissolve up at the beginning, so you just hover over the beginning of the clip, you can see it appear there, and now you have like a fade up so whether you're just in the beginning, right? So then you can do the same thing in between clips. So you add that, and now you have a dissolve in between. So whether you're just say so you could do all the effects that you need that way so you have your transitions likewise you have audio transitions so you can transition fade between audio clips so if you add some music in here or you add a narration or sound effects you could fade up fade down along those lines i'm going to tell you a little bit about the audio here and the volume is controlled with this little line that's all stretched across there so you can pull that down and up when you hover over the clip, you can add and remove keyframes, which is a great way to like duck out audio or bring up audio, and you get all your audio adjusted that way. Now let's talk a little bit about titles. Titles happen over here. You have the type tool, so you can just click on that, and this one you put up in the monitor, and you just basically click where you want it to go, and you type, uh, let's say I want my name on here, and then now when you click on the arrow, you can now move that around, adjust where you want it to go, make it bigger, make it smaller. If you want to do further editing with the titles, all you need to do is go up to the Windows panel, and we want to get the essential graphics. You click on here, and you can see I have the title selected here, and you can make all the adjustments you want. You can change the font, you can change the color, you know, just make it whatever you want it to be. Let's say we want to make it more of a red you can put a shadow you can put a stroke around it all the adjustments there and then you go back to the effects panel and you can also apply these dissolves to the other layers whether this is your b-roll or other footage or a title so you can see now it fades in that way so now once you have the video completely done you have the video edited you can watch it back you can play it here and see exactly what it looks like and it's the way you want it now you want to export it render it out into a file that you can then use somewhere else so you just go up to the export panel up here you will name the file my video and again you select the folder that you want it to be saved into we're just going to go here we're going to go to the quick projects right go in here save and then I would leave the presets again as you're just getting started make sure your format is h.264 that's the most common mp4 video format and then just leave it on match source which means the video that you put in you're matching all the settings in there not making it bigger or smaller or change the bitrate and just leave it as that preset there okay and then when you're done you can hit export and it'll start rendering the video out once this is done then you'll have that file ready to put and post wherever you want it to be and there you have it we covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time but that is some of the basics into editing with adobe premiere i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next one